Hi, I'm Rob Hayes with Standard Supply, and today I'm going to show you how to properly charge a Mitsubishi outdoor condenser. The first thing you need to do to figure out what your charge is on your outdoor condenser is figure out what model number that you have. Today we have the NUZ FE12NA-1. And there are several places where you can find the information on the charge on your unit. It's located in the installation manual, which comes with all of your Mitsubishi equipment. It's also located on the outdoor unit, on the nameplate. And if you do not have the install manual, or your nameplate is worn off, you can always go to their technical website, mylinkdrive.com, to locate your charge for your outdoor condenser. This unit is an M-series Mitsubishi piece of equipment. It's pre-charged for up to 25 feet. This means if you have a line set length of 15 feet, you would add zero ounces of refrigerant to to the system. Unlike other brands, Mitsubishi does not require you to remove refrigerant when you are under the pre-charged length. Let's go to our second example here. If we had a line set length of 30 feet, we would add 1.62 ounces of refrigerant. This information is located in the install manual, on the outdoor unit, also on mylinkdrive.com. And that is how you properly charge a Mitsubishi outdoor condenser. Hi, I'm Rob Hayes with Standard Supply. Today I'm going to talk to you about properly charging a P-Series piece of Mitsubishi equipment. The first thing you need to do when you're charging a P-Series piece of equipment is identify the model number of the unit that you're working on. Today we are looking at a PUZ A30 NHA4. This unit is pre-charged for up to 70 feet. You can find this information located in the install manual, on the outdoor unit, and also on Mitsubishi's technical website, mylinkdrive Dot com. We're going to go through a few examples here. For instance, if you have a 50 foot line set on your outdoor condenser, you would be adding zero ounces of refrigerant to the system since we are under the pre-charged 70 feet. Since we're under that, we won't be additionally removing any refrigerant from the system. Example number two, if we have a line set length of 100 feet, we would add 18 ounces of refrigerant to the system. Located on the nameplate, it says to add three ounces per five feet. You have 30 extra feet of line set on this job, and you're going to be adding three ounces per additional five feet which is where we get the 18 ounces of additional refrigerant to be added to the system. And that is how you properly charge a P-Series piece of Mitsubishi 